Today, for day two of vlog giving, I'm going to be talking about the top five Rhode Island bakeries. everybody happy vlog giving week continuing on for day two of vlog giving I'm gonna be going through the top five Rhode Island bakeries for pies and all things Thanksgiving and holiday related I apologize for the noise in the background why it's just chill <laughs> I'm gonna start with number five and work my way up to number one number five good old cellos so cellos is a staple in Rhode Island. They're all over the state and they're pretty much known for their good prices and good food. They have great pies during the holiday season and all year round. Some of their staples for um, holiday for Thanksgiving are the apple pie and their pumpkin pie. So if you're looking for a place to get some good pies and good cakes for at a decent price, I would definitely check out Cello's for sure. Number four, Greg's Restaurant. Now, I'm going to rave a minute about Greg's because I think a lot of people go there for their cakes and their pastries and not so much their pies. A favorite of Dan and I's is their Death by Chocolate Cake. It's huge and it's delicious and it's super rich. I think the one thing that Greg's is really known for when it comes to their desserts is how rich their desserts are. You get so much flavor out of anything you order from there. I've had their apple pie, I've had their apple crisp, I've had their chocolate cake, and I've had their pumpkin pie, and they're all to die for. And you can pre-order your cakes with Greg's. If you've never gotten any desserts from Greg's, even if it's not a holiday, <laughs> I would definitely go there and try out some of their stuff, for sure. So it's even though it's a restaurant, it basically serves as like a bakery as well. Number three, LaSalle Bakery in Providence. Now I'm going to be a little honest here, I've actually never ordered anything from LaSalle. I've never been there, I've never had any desserts from there. However, let me explain to you why it's on my list. Everybody knows LaSalle Bakery, even if you've never been there and a lot of people rave about their pies. I have heard many things about LaSalle. It's the only one in Rhode Island. It's not in different locations. So you will have to drive to Providence to go pick up what you want, but I have heard that it is worth it. I definitely plan on going there at some point and trying out something that they have. Um, I just haven't made it there yet. Uh, but I've heard that their apple pie is amazing. So I would definitely go there and check out that um, if you're looking for somewhere unique or different to go to for your pies this year. Number two, Pastryland Bakery in Smithfield, Rhode Island. This is my hometown bakery. We have gotten our cakes and our pies here for ever since I can remember, since I was born. And probably before that, my parents were probably still going there. <laughs> the great thing about Pastryland is they're quick and they usually have a lot in stock. So. As long as you pre-order, you're going to get it. The other thing about them is you can walk in the day before and still get a pie. Their customer service is excellent and um, their pumpkin pie is delicious. It's the only location in Rhode Island. It's right off of 44 in Smithfield, so if you've never been there and you want to check it out, I would definitely go to it. Uh, their prices are pretty decent. Again. For pastry land, I recommend the pumpkin pie for sure. And finally, number one, Wright's Dairy Farm Bakery. This is at my top. It's always going to be my number one for anything. I go there for birthday cakes. I go there for holiday pies, holiday desserts. It is the best bakery ever. I've gotten my wedding cake from there. Let me break it down. First, I'm going to point out their prices. If you're buying individual slices or pieces of cake the prices are amazing they're really 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 good next up is their pies their pies are a pretty decent price 
they can be on the little expensive side for some people. I know for me, um, when I'm buying a cake from there or like a birthday cake, I tend to find that it's a little on the pricier side. However, it's one of those places and it's one of those things where it's worth the money. They give out such a perfect, amazing product. They never make a mistake. And if they do, they're quick to correct it. Their pies and their cakes, they're so well balanced between rich and light. It's almost like the perfect combination of the two. Their apple pie and their carrot cake is to die for. To die for. If I could buy their apple pie all the time, I would. It's a little pricey, but it's huge. You get such an awesome size for what you're paying for. Like, I mean that sucker is like, whoop, 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 whoop. It looks like a mountain, let me tell you. It's filled with apples. It's so good. I've also had their pumpkin pie from there. The great thing about their pumpkin pie is if you like a really rich pumpkin pie, I probably wouldn't get it from Wright's. However, I like a lighter pumpkin pie and that's exactly what theirs is. Pair it with some vanilla ice cream or whipped cream and it is perfect. The Wright's Dairy Farm is located in North Smithfield. Um, North Smithfield one socket line set, a, set back on a back road and it's a little farm and it's so fun to take the kids there. We make a day out of it. We'll drive up there, we'll get our desserts and we'll, um, you know, you take in your scenery. There's cows there. You can bring your kids to go see the cows get milked and things like that. And they sell so much other stuff besides cake and pies. They sell ice cream, they sell truffles, they sell cookies, they sell pastries. Um, they have milk. The last thing about Wright's Dairy Farm Bakery is they get super busy so make sure as soon as it's time to order your cakes and pies um, that you're able to with them you call and you put your order in because they get really backed up it's a really really famous popular bakery here in Rhode Island so if you're gonna order from there and you've never done it before make sure you order early so that's it those are my top five Rhode Island bakeries make sure to like this video if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We really hope that you can join our family. I hope everybody's having a good vlog giving. See ya! Thanks.